Hey guys, welcome to the 120th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to continue showing you how to draw two more shapes, and that will be the pi and the polygon. So, for this tutorial, you're just going to need to have a panel and an event for when someone clicks a panel. Let's just go to that. So, just like in the previous tutorial, we're going to have to create a new solid brush which will just be the color that we're going to um, fill our polygon with and our pie. So I'll just make it be blue, I guess. All right. And just like before, we're going to have to create a uh, new graphics. So I'll just call it G. And just like before, we're going to have to set equal to panel1.createGraphics so that we can um, draw what we want on this panel right here. So in order to draw a graph, which is the first, or a pie, which is the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do g dot fill and then pie. And a pie is basically just a pie graph. If you've ever seen one of those, like um, it's like hard to explain, but it's like a circle and there's all the uh, different like, categories inside of it. So it's pretty much that. So first thing that we have to do here is pass through a brush. So we're going to pass through SB for a solid brush. And the next is the x coordinate where it will begin. I'll just make it 20 for right now by 20. And the width, I'll just make it 60 by 60 so you can see it. And then these next two things is the start angle. And that basically means the angle at which um, uh, your pie is going to start drawing. So if you make it zero, it'll start like right here. If you can imagine with a pie like around this, it would start like right there. And if you made it like, I don't know, like 90 or something, then it would start like vertical. So, see what I mean? Now we're just going to make it zero for right now, so we'll just start like right there. And the, the sweep angle is basically how much it will sweep around. And if we make it 180, we'll just have a half circle that looks like this. And if we made it like 270, we would have a circle that has like a chunk missing out of it, so it would look like that. So I'm just gonna make it 270 because it's like hard to like explain it, but yeah. So you'll just see what I mean. So yeah, that's like a pie. So yeah, if it, this is 270, so it starts here and then sweeps 270 degrees around here. So we get three fourths of a circle. And obviously, if we made it 180, it would be half of a circle. Yep. And if we messed with this start angle, so if we make start angle 90. Yeah, it just starts right there and then sweeps around this way. So it just always sweeps around clockwise. And the next next thing that we're going to be drawing is a polygon. And a polygon calls for, um, well, obviously a brush, so that's the, and it also calls for points. And these points will be where it will start. So we would have to make three points for a triangle, so like one up here, one down here, and one over here. So we're going to have to create an array of points. So we're just going to say point, call it points, and we're just going to create some new points here. I'll just do three, so new point, and I'll say zero, and then 20. Um, you know, we'll start at, yeah, zero, 20, then new point, zero, zero. And then new point um, 20, 0. And if this works how I planned it, we will see a right triangle. And I'm really bad at like putting in numbers here and then it doing what I actually want it to, but I hope. Yeah, perfect. A right triangle. And you can obviously mess around with these if you want to make different things. Like if we wanted to make there be like a square or something then we would just add another point here. So if you wanted to make there be like a six-sided figure, then you'd have six points here and so on. I'll just add another point um, to make it a square. Um, I think this will make it a square. All right. Yeah, square. All right. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.